everybody welcome back in this video we are going to learn about UV editing and textures so what is UV editing and textures so textures as you know that uh, we can add a texture on our uh, uh, any shape and uh, we can add uh, 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 we can uh, unwrap our shapes to UV editing so for example if you create a shape here so let's create a cube here you can see whenever we create a cube in left side you can see it generates UVs uh, uh, option is enabled by default so what it will do that whenever we create some object if we click on this UV editing tool it is this cube is separated to these sections one two three four five six okay so if we select for example this corner you can see this area is this one if we select this this section is this one this section is this one and like this this cube is uh, split it down into six different sections so at any point we can place a new texture here or a new material as well okay so in UV editing this this place we can place an image so for example let's add a image here so we can click open here and we can add some image so from desktop let's add some image uh, maybe uh, maybe uh, this one okay so let's add this image so this image is added so now we have added the image but we didn't uh, if we go to materials view you can see we don't have any material on the cube because we never created a material for this cube so for adding this image to our cube we will just go to material and we will just create a new material okay so now new material is created we can rename this material as a maybe image okay and now if we go to uh, shading view you can see that this is the image which we have actually not this one uh, okay we can just add we can here we can change this uh, window to the editing window okay and actually we will just go to UV editing window no problem and here we can just create split the window for splitting any section we can right click here and we can create a horizontal split and now you can see we have another window and for this window we will just click here and we will change it to shader editor so now that shading window is here and we can just make it like this zoom in okay and now if we want to add image on this we can just drag drop this image here and uh, we can just add this color to base color so now you can see we have this type of image here but you can see the problem here that our cube is not consistent some area is like this eyes are here 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 everything is disturbed out how we can solve this issue so we can solve this issue with UV editing so already we have our sections separated down like this okay so what we can do here so if we go press a you will select everything here okay so now you can see everything is selected we can select uh, any section and we can press L to select uh, actually these are not separated down so if we want to separate these cubes separately what we can do we can uh, select any section with this let's select this one okay you can see this node is selected uh, we want to select uh, this one as well shift R click this one as well this one as well uh, so we want to uh separate all the sections of the cube okay so let's do that and uh, mm, yeah this one this one 
this one so everything is selected now I think and now we will press ctrl E and we will press mark seam and now you can see this type of red line here and now we will press A and we will press U and we will press unwrap and now you can see that these cubes are separated separately uh, these are uh, added here okay so now what we can do we can select everything we can just uh, bring it in this mode we can move these objects similarly with G or with this uh, move tool we can move it like this okay and uh, let's uh, add it here and now we will just select one press L and uh, okay this one L and uh, now we can just move it here and we can just scale it and you can see that we can map it like this definitely you can see it's rotated to the wrong side so we can use rotate tool or we can press R to rotate and we can make it straight like this okay similarly we can select the another cube like this by L we can press G to move it here and now for this you have to see that which is the yeah I think this is the view so we can press S and scale it like this I think uh, yeah this one okay so these both are fixed now similarly we can select these sections and we can do the same so let's press uh, L sorry this one L and G move it here S scale it here and we will just get this type of shape we will just select this I am not uh, uh, moving it at accurate position I am just giving you an idea that how you will solve these issues ok so I think this one maybe yeah so you can fix this side as well and similarly you can fix these sides as well by moving uh, by scaling these by selecting this G we can move it here we can select both we can move G and we can move it here as well okay so like this you can solve this issue and you saw that how UV editing will work and how you can fix the areas so now we will practically uh, do a uh, method so that you can see how we can uh, properly edit a table and uh, how we will uh, add some texture to that table in next video and then we will uh, definitely add materials uh, and textures to our robot